There's black crap that I ain't cleaning with J bolt. If you have something besides glass, don't bring glass out here. Somebody bump it and shatter if you if you could. Look at that, just like butter. There you go. Here for well, folks, time to learn how to remove a Y bone with David Bolt. Big man trap lake, Minnesota. Have any tips for the rookies, Dave? You just spit them out because this thing got audio. Basically, you start off with like you normally would fillet a fish. Take the meat slab off. Ninety percent of this operation is done with this the knife. It has to be like a razor. Slabs of meat. Next thing in the agenda is you remove the balance flippers where the fish will balance themselves in the water. It's a very hard bone. You don't want to eat any part. And you go in and you take the rib cage out, which is the bones that protect the rib cage on your fish. Yeah, you want a cocktail now or you want to wait? Wait. Maybe. And you kind of just lay those bones back. And you just push 
as a knife. You just hook them into the bones and you push and pull them. The bones out of the carcass. Okay, now I think what we're we're here to do, right in the center of the fish, right along here, is your Y bones. They go in, they hook right here, and come this way. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a cut right along the top of this slab of meat. You can kind of feel as your might your knife pulls across the tops of them. Then we got to go over approximately a half inch and make another one and you can feel the bottom of that bone as your knife goes across them. You don't want to cut the bones, you just want to feel it to the point where you go as deep as the bone. And once you got them depth, then you make another one, tilt your knife at an angle, so you so you're cutting the base of the bone layer off and you just go back and do it and then you just make your final cut which you want to now you have to do that for both fillets Dave right? yeah both okay. fillets and then once you get them out you can take your hand and you can feel the bones you can actually see where I cut the bones right here the top of them. You just you can grab a hold. You can just take that take the bones right out. A hunk of meat. You get down to the end of the tail, there's no Y bones, and you just cut it off so you don't waste any more meat. Now, you can see that the bones are right here. You can feel them with your finger. They're just sharp as all get out. And the Y goes out like this and then into a single bone and this piece of meat. And there's the Y bone, and here's your fillet boneless. And it's their standard which, taking the... Which will be within in the oil within hours, I might add. <laughs> and this... And you take your, your... Your your skin off your meat. That's the good... And there's folks. your filet. Boneless. And if somebody wants to make like chick, uh, fish soup or something and deal with the bones that cook put, so the meat falls off, you can do that and make sure that your bones aren't in Again, here's your other slab, there's your bones right here, you can feel them with your finger. Run right along, so what you want to do is cut along this line, you cut underneath them. You can hear them click on the, on the knife blade. And you want to move over towards about a half inch, make another incision down.
Okay. Just a matter of what you're doing is you're just cutting along those bones and making sure that you get all the way down to the end of the bone. And what you do is pull there, the bones come out, cut it off. Got them, and here we go. Now, the rest is just a regular fillet. That's it, folks. That is Cleaning and Filleting Northern Pike with Dave Bolt and his grandson, David Bolt, up at Big Man Trap Lake, Minnesota, July 30th, the year of the Lord, 2012. Now it's time to go cook them. Bye.